Alrighty, so I'm gonna do the casual review of Argyle. So there's pretty much only one problem I have with this guy, and it's not even a briar thing, really. It's just he has a scratch right there. You can probably see it, but yeah. It seems kind of noticeable, but it's not too bad. I mean, I might be able to touch it up or get someone else to touch it up for me. This guy's really nice. I really do like him. He's got awesome dapples. Like, if you look at his dapples, they're everywhere. On both sides, he just is covered in dapples. Um, I guess there's one other problem I have with him. And that's right here on his belly. Right there. He looks like he's missing like three dapples. Like, they're not even there. Sorry, my camera's not going to focus very well, but it's like really dark dappling and then there's that spot and they're just, just like missing darker dapples. Like, you can kind of see them, but they're not as dark as the rest of him. Um, he has them like on his neck too. Love that he has dapples on his neck. Oh my gosh, look at my cat. He's in the box. Like... What are you doing, Percy? You like the box? <laughs> okay. Minor sidetrack. Alrighty. So, yeah, you can... I could sit here talking about his dapples for ages, but I'm not going to. I just really like them. I am a huge fan of dapples. <laughs> and then also, I like that he has these leg stripes. I kind of wish this side were more prominent because if you can see this side is really dark on the legs and then there's just the striping on this side of the leg and not really on this side of the leg but then here it's on this side of the leg and not really this side of the leg so I wish they would have made that a little bit more you know even on either side of the horse um, and then I really do like the socks the little socks on him. You can see how pretty they are. It's really nice. And for one, I'm very glad that they put horseshoes on him. Um, because this mold has horseshoes built into the mold. So I think that if you have those built-in horseshoes, then you really should like, you know, paint them on. For example, here are my other Othello's. SPH Phoenix doesn't have horseshoes. And you can see how awkward it looks. Like, you can see where the horseshoes should be, but they're not there because they're not painted on. So I just don't like that. Just, you know, I like it when they have the horseshoes if they're molded onto that model. So yeah, um, there is that. Um, which, there's one problem I have with those, and it's that they don't go all the way up into the molding. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but if you look at that, there's a little, like, lip, I guess, that goes up. Like, on this one, you can see that it goes up like that. This one doesn't. It's just straight across on all the other hooves. So I think that could have been done a little better, but I mean, it's all good. So yeah, I'm going to talk about his mane and tail really quick. The shading is great on him. I absolutely love his shading. How just it looked cool. And then talking about his face really quick. You can see how adorable his face are. That is what first got me excited about Othello's. My first Othello was Winter Song and I took one look at his face and had to have him and now I have four. Oh, anyway, he's just got a really cute face. I love the ears. His eyes are just black with 
white outlining them, but I think it looks really good. Usually I like if they have more details, but I mean, they look good, so I'm not going to complain about that. And then also, I like how pink his nose is. Like, they actually worked to get the pinking to look nice on his nose, and I like the little spot in the middle of his little strip, stripe, whatever. And then, um, also up here, I know under the little forelock, it's a little difficult to get it all, like, nicely masked off, but I think they could have done a little bit better job with where it ends. But, I mean, it's not noticeable and it's not really anything bad, so I'm not gonna really talk about that too much. Um, the mane and tail, I really like how they did that. It's very nicely done, very uh, gradient, and I like how it turned out. And then, same with the mane. It looks really nice, really gradient. But there's this one patch right in there, you can, right there. This patch is like really light. And then like other parts under the mane are darker. And then there's that one really, really light patch, which kind of looks silly, but maybe that's just with this guy, but I just thought they could have made that look a little nicer. So yeah, that's him. He is stunning, gorgeous, and of course I love my Othello mold. So for those of you out there, I would highly suggest getting him if you're a fan of the mold. Or even if you're not, he's just got really nice dapples. I'm planning to put him in my show string if I can get that little scuff on his barrel fixed. Because he is stunning and I think that the dapples would do really good things for him in the show ring. So yeah, he's so lovely. Love, love, love him so very much. And he has a lot of great um, tributes, attributes, bleh, if I can speak. Um, so, I mean, he's well worth it. And I know I've wanted him since I knew they were coming out with him. So I'm really glad I have him now. I paid a little bit more than I wanted to for him, but I mean, that's all right. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video before it gets to be really long. I know it's long, but we don't want it to get too terribly long. So I'll stop laughing now. So yeah, please um, like this video and comment below what you want my next um, review to be on. I can do Schleich or Briar. I did a Schleich truck and trailer um, review a while ago, and now I did this guy, so you can get a little taste on what my reviews would be like, just kind of my personal opinions on the horse if you're thinking about getting them or you just want to know what my opinions are, I'm willing to do that. Check out um, collection tours or videos like that if you want to know what horses I have, or you can just ask in the comments if I have a horse and if I'm willing to do a video on them. So yeah, just let me know. I aim to please. So hopefully we can figure something out. So yeah, thanks for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome model horse related videos. Bye!